okay welcome back to the science of peace and I want to continue our discussion on the Celestine prophecy so that was the last video that I posted and um, please subscribe uh, click the link in the bio um, to the science of peace um, I'm gonna do a couple of a couple of videos talking about the insights that are mentioned in the Celestine prophecy. If you don't know what the Celestine prophet prophecy is, go watch the video that's previous to this one. Um, and so the first one I talked about the first insight. I'm not gonna go through every insight. I just want to go through the ones that resonated the most with me. And so I want to talk about the third insight in the Celestine Prophecy. So the third insight, right? And I have my notes here. Okay, my handy dandy notes. So the third insight talks about how we as a human race will learn to perceive which was once an invisible field of energy. So you know how, you know, we're learning that especially through quantum physics and quantum mechanics that we're learning that everything is energy and energy is everything. So everything in this, on this planet is composed of energy. Um, and energy is always, is never at rest. It's always moving. Okay. So if you had a certain type of microscope, you would be able to see, um, when you zoomed in on this table or on this book, or whatever, you will be able to see those tiny particles, those atoms moving. You know what I'm saying? That's the energy there. Um, but so the third insight in the Celestine prophecy talks about how eventually the human race or certain, um, you know, certain folks will be able to start to perceive that energy that is no normally listed as invisible, right? Because it's an invisible field of energy. You don't normally see it. So, um, and we, and, and it also talks about how, you know, matter, like we, we think of matter, like a hard, like hard matter. And then we look at, we look around and we, and basically what they're finding is that the matter is really like empty space, but within that empty space, there's energy that runs through it. You know what I'm saying? That flows through it and it flows through everything. So that's where the, that's where the concept of like that we're all one because it's the same energy. It may vibrate differently, and when it vibrates differently, it, it's on a different frequency, but it's still the same energy. So, you know what I'm saying? It's still the same source, you know what I mean? And some people refer to source. Um, some people say God, whatever it is, Allah, whatever it is that, that omnipotent force or source of energy, it's, it, it really um, connects us. All is one, you know what I'm saying? So, but within the third insight, it talks about how, um, you know, like it eventually you get to the point where you're able to observe that energy. So there's a scene in the book where uh, the main character is in, uh, he's in Peru and he's in this, um, this forest, like a virgin forest, meaning like it hasn't been tampered with by human hands. You know what I'm saying? So it has all of its natural like potency. And because of that, the energy field in that forest is abundant you know what i'm saying it's like it's of its highest potential because it hasn't been uh tampered with so there's all these research and scientists that are there and they're doing all this work that you know doing all this uh research on you know discovering this energy field and they're like they're like trying trying to prove that the things that are in the celestine prophecy are true so um so but i wanted to talk about this because it was an aha moment another aha moment for me um, because I remember, well, I'm gonna say this in the book, it talks about how, so like everything that radiates outwards, um, is energy. So even rocks, you know what I'm saying? Like ocean, you know what I'm saying? Like dirt, grass, everything has a energy that vibrates within it and it radiates out. And that's also what you, um, when you hear people talk about people's auras and you can see, some people can see people's auras. That's the same thing. Being able to see that invisible energy field, because just because you cannot normally see it, that does that does not mean that it's not there because, uh, we all know that the human eye 
is only able to see a certain fraction of the, the visible spectrum, but there's so much more. Like, we see this much of what's really here. But there's some people that can see more than that. And then there's animals that can see more than that. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how cats and dogs, you know, they sense, you know what I'm saying, certain energies, and they can see certain energies. So, it's the same thing. So, um, now they also said that, the, like, in the third insight, they say that, the best way to be able to perceive this energy is um, when you start to have a deep appreciation for whatever it is that you're viewing. And then also it's best to see it when it's either sunrise or sunset. So both of these things have happened to me years ago. And at the time when it happened to me, I didn't exactly know what it was. But, um, of course, it um, intrigued me to dig further. And... Um, I, you know, I, I didn't learn, you know, more about it. But then reading this, it just kind of like, you know, put another layer onto what I was already learning at that time. So years ago, I mean, I don't know, maybe like 10 years ago or something like that. I was at, um, I always like to be with nature. So um, I was at a reservoir sitting on the grass and looking out at the water. And I used to go there to meditate a lot. But uh, this particular time, I was looking, um, I was looking up, and it was like sunset. So I was looking up into the sky, um, but not really like with a focus of looking at a cloud or looking at the tops of the trees and nothing like that. I was just looking out into the sky, and it just felt good. And I did have an appreciation for the beauty, because you know what I'm saying. Um, I was scanning, you know, like the views, and it just felt really good. It always feels good to be in nature. It, there's there's high vibration in nature so if you ever need to fill up which is another part of another insight we'll get to that later you know one of the great ways to fill up is to go be with nature and do a process that we'll talk about later but so I'm sitting there and I'm looking out into the sky with no particular focus on anything and I start to see um it's like you see some, you see like little particles. That to me, this is what it looks like. Little particles are moving, right? And so I'm like, what is that? So as I'm looking, um, I see like these, you know, and, I, and it, it, it makes me draw my attention more into it. So now I'm trying to focus because I'm like, am I like something wrong with my vision or am I seeing things or whatever? Because, um, you know what I'm saying? But as I, as I focus more on it, I start to see them more clearly. And it's really like, you see these like little tiny particles and they kind of like light up a little bit, but they're like zooming and, and darting everywhere. Like, and then as you, as you observe those, you start to see more of them and they're like all over. So it's like, I'm like, wait a minute. So whatever this thing that I, is that I'm seeing, like, it's it's in the air it's everywhere because now as i look around and i look over here i'm like oh you can see them here you can see them here but they're everywhere it's like tiny little particles and they're darting all over i'm like yo what the hell is this so i remember um i asked somebody else if they could see the same thing and at first you don't see them until you observe and they did the same thing and they could see it too. So I'm like, okay, so now, uh, you know what I'm saying? My brain, my brain is moving. I'm like, okay, so what is this? So then eventually I found out that that was energy. That is the ether. You know what I'm saying? Like what you're seeing is like, <laughs> like what you normally would think you could only see in a microscope. But no, like everybody that I know that has tried it. And I want you all to try it. Like just go outside when the sun is out or when the sun is going down, get somewhere like you don't, even, you don't have to go into the woods or anything like that, because I, I'm looking right now. And I like now that my mind is trained, um, I can see them now everywhere. You know what I'm saying? If I just focus and then look and I'll start to see them. And the more that you start to focus on it, you'll see it even more. So like um, you don't have to be, you know, um, in the woods, but. You're, you're going to see, you know what I'm saying? So you'll, you'll see it better when you're in that nature. So, um, so basically, um, 
basically it's energy that you're observing. You know what I'm saying? And you're seeing the particles zigzag and zoom. You know what I mean? And it's like, wow. So now you start to notice that it's everywhere. And so this is the energy that runs through our body. This is the energy that is source. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, like to know, well, at least for me, to know that it's always been there my whole life. But I've never paid attention to it. And then to see it, that just that's just proof that, you know what I mean? Like, that's proof that you don't know everything and you don't see everything. And sometimes it's right in your face. And you don't see it until you really take the time and, and uh, appreciate and be present. You know what I'm saying? Being present in the moment. That's how I was able to observe what I was seeing you know what I mean and now like through the book because what they were doing now that they are able to observe the energy field which was always there um now you can start to when you see people you can observe their energy field as well you know what I mean so and everything like with the plants the trees and you can just see the energy field and then there's going to be another insight that gets a little deeper than that but we're not going to go there. I just want you all to go out, observe the energy field, tell me what you see. And just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just, you know, like, remember who you are. You know what I mean? Because, whew, you, you, you're not, we're not just here to, to just fester away or to work ourselves or slave ourselves you know what I'm saying there's so much more and if you just focus and you just pay attention you know what I'm saying um you'll get the downloads so that's I'm gonna end it there um you know make sure you subscribe get the book get the audio book I've been listening to the audio book on YouTube Celestine Prophecy yo shit is real Islam peace